Hello, I've got goodies in the mail. Right after this, we'll check them out. And we're back. Yes, that's jets flying overhead. I live over in Ellis Air Force Base here in Las Vegas, and when the jets fly over, it's noisy. Usually dead quiet, but then again, you have noise. Or my dogs are barking, so whenever I'm filming something, there's usually dogs or jets or something going on. But anyway, enough with that. Uh, here a while back, I noticed that uh, Sun Lu had, on their Kickstarter, had a filament dryer. And I was really interested in it. Because probably a year, year and a half ago off Amazon, I bought this uh, dehydrator that it was recommended in one of the groups I was on to buy. And I bought it. And I cut all, all the inserts like you're supposed to do so you can put filament in here. Stacked it up, put a roll of filament in it, turned it on. It got hotter than hell, and then after a short time, it started making a terrible racket. There's no temperature control on this. I can't really tell what it's doing. So I'm like, you know what? This isn't going to work for me. So I contacted Sunlu, and they were nice enough to send me out their filament dryer to do a video review on. And it's currently on Kickstarter. I think it just got released. It's off Kickstarter and all the backers. I believe they're being sent out now to all the backers. But I want to do a review on it. Where I live here in Las Vegas, Nevada, it's pretty dry. It's not very humid at all, but you will still get humidity in your filament, whether it's TPU, any time of filament. Even though you might be in a dry climate, your filament might come packaged with desiccant and it could have moisture already in it based on where you bought it from. It might already have moisture in it. You might need to dry it when you first get it, or it might have been sitting around for a very long time. So it doesn't hurt, no matter where you live, to have one or more filament dryers to dry out your filament so you get the best possible results from your print. But let me open up the box here. Oh, and they sent me two rolls of PLA, a white and a black to try out. So that'll be another video on the PLA. But let's take a look at the filament dryer. Let's set these aside. Nice little box with a carrying handle on it. Has a couple little tiny dents in the corner via UPS's fault. It says Fill a Dry S1 3D Printing Mate. Drawing while printing to improve your 3D model. I have not taken this out of the box yet. Oops, there was a tab. Live unboxings are always cool because you never know what to expect. Or not live, take, you know what I'm saying. You're seeing me open it for the first time. So what do we got here? Sunlu filament dryer, 3D printing mate, product specifications, operating instructions, troubleshooting, And I can't read that sign, that side. And this other side is all in English. And it tells all the product specifications, tips. I'll take it back, part of it's in English. So it looks like it appears to be in four different languages. Dear valued customer, thank you for supporting Sunlu. If there is any issues with your order, please contact us at sunlu.com with 365 day guarantee thank you for your purchase most of your items 10 percent off and have a discount code there for 10 percent off future items pretty white clear case Got a piece of tape and says pull up, up a little up arrow. It's hinged open. Let's see. Power supply, 110 for the US. I guess this can be a Frisbee. What I planned on doing is I will take a couple rolls of filament, I will weigh them on a kitchen scale um, to get the exact weight before I dry it, and then after it's dry, I will go ahead and weigh it to see if it pulled any moisture out of the filament, see if there's any uh, difference in the weight. That's a nice little power brick there. plugs in the back. Well, 
let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it powers up. Without the filament in it, let's just check it out. It's not backlit. I can see the numbers there. If it's showing up on the screen, yeah, you can see it. It's not backlit. Well, let me read the instructions, and uh, we'll put some film in it, so I'll jump right to the next scene, and we'll continue. Okay, I briefly looked over the paperwork, and I see here that it will dry. Let me put on my glasses so I can read. Uh, PLA, PLA+, plus, PLA silk, carbon fiber, wood, PVB, ABS, uh, ABS+, plus, hips, PV, PV slash PVA, ASA, PETG, TPU, and PMMA. And it's got drying temperatures that range from 45 to 50, 50, 55. Um, let's see, and drying time is anywhere from 3 to 6 hours. You can set your drying time if you want. It defaults at 6 hours automatically and then it shuts off. But you can set that. It has the two uh, left and right buttons down here below on the control screen. You push one button for three seconds. You can set the temperature um, going up or down with left or right button. And you can go back and you can set your drawing time. If, or it will default for six hours. On the front of the, film, the dryer box here, it's got a hole right here, a plastic plug you can pull out here. So while you're printing, you can have it drawing. You can be drying your filament while you're printing. Down here in the front, it also has a small hole down here. We, the same thing, you can run your filament out the front or out the top here at a diagonal angle um, going straight to your printer. One thing you got to be very careful of is when you look inside here, there's this big piece of metal here. That is what heats up and gets hot. Do not ever touch this while this is running or when you first turn it off, you don't want to burn yourself. And then it has an insulated pad on the side, but do not touch this. It will get very hot. So... And today I'm going to be drawing three different filaments. Okay, grabbing the first roll of Maker Geeks Translucent Purple. Let's set it in. There's two rollers at the bottom that it just sits on. Let's go to the Sunloose site and check out their uh, Villa Dryer S1 on Kickstarter. Price $79.99 USD. Now I see that we have a blue LED here in this picture. Mine is black. It's basically black and white. I can read it, but I, it's not lit up in blue like that one. And I think it's compatible with multiple coils. So if you have smaller, narrower spools, you can put two side by side. So you can be feeding two printers at once. Or if you have dual extrusion of one printer, the temperature is adjustable. You hold down the left button for three seconds. You can change the amount of hours uh, and press the right button also left and right. And you can change the temperature and uh, the amount of hours. And once you let go, it'll automatically start. It's compatible with multiple coils. Suitable for different filament diameter, 175, 285, and 3.0 millimeter. Temperature range between 35C and 55C. It does heat up quickly. It does not get really hot like I was working with that uh, um, dehydrator that I showed you earlier. That thing was getting red hot and uh, making a racket. This is quiet. makes no noise whatsoever. And you can see a noticeable improvement in uh, quality if you have wet filament versus dry filament. Of 
And there's the dimensions, 237 millimeters tall by 100 millimeters wide and 271 millimeters long. It's very small and compact. It will fit anywhere around any of your printers if you wish to uh, have, have a drawing while you're feeding your filament, uh, printing something. You don't have to have a giant dehydrator uh, sitting somewhere. And then with the dehydrator, you have to lay the spools down. You can't have them feeding a printer. And here's uh, different baking times for different filament that I mentioned earlier, I read off the paper. I'll have a link below in the description to the Sunlu site where you can buy this at. At some point, I'm sure it'll be on Amazon.com in the USA. But for now, uh, you can buy it directly through Sunlu. One thing I wanted to say before I forget is please like, subscribe, share the video, ring that bell to be notified the next time I post a video or I go live. I'm going live weekly now, having great guests on, and I'm also doing a hangout live stream. It's based on what I have going on at home here. I'll just randomly pop up and do a live stream. Um, I might share it on Facebook. I It's usually on YouTube and then on my Facebook group, my regular Facebook page. If you'd like to buy this filament dryer, there's links below in the description to Sunlu where you can buy that at. I have some affiliate links. There's links to other great companies where you get some great discounts. There's ways to help out this channel if you're interested in. There's lots of cool stuff to read down below. So I just wanted to throw that out there before I forget to say it because I am a very forgetful person. Alrighty, we're into the second day here. I had some footage that I uh, cut out where I'd taken three filaments, some TPU, some PETG, and PLA, and I had weighed it first, broke down the ounces, put it in the filament dryer for six hours on each one, and there was no noticeable change on the scale, so there's, it's kind of minute to even throw, show that footage. So, yes, it did dry off the filament, but not enough to register on the scale. And, you know, like I say, I live here in Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a real dry climate. And even though it doesn't rain here very often, you still do. We still have humidity in the air. So a lot of my filament I don't keep in a uh, uh, gallon freezer bag with desiccant. Sometimes they sit out or I'll put them back in the box in the bag that they came in, which are not resealable and they're ripped open so they can draw moisture, especially PETG and TPU. Did it dry them out? It worked perfect. Did this thing overheat and get hot? No, it was perfect. It got warm to the touch on the outside a little bit. Um, it did, doesn't make any noise whatsoever as compared to the food dehydrator that I tried that was noisy. And it got so hot I thought it was going to melt the spools. This looks nice. It's very sleek. You can set it in around any printer. It has a spot here in the front with a plug you can take out and one down below where you can run a filament. If you have some smaller spools, you can put two in side by side. If you have two different colors going to one printer or to two different printers, it can pull off the same roll. It has two metal uh, rollers in the bottom that spin. They just appear to be on a shaft. Uh, they don't feel like they have any bearings in them, but they do roll freely. The buttons on the front, as in the website that I showed you, they were lit up in blue. On this one, they are black letters with kind of a gray background. They are slightly backlit. I can read them from across the room just fine. It's not a problem. They're pretty blue letters like I see on the website. Maybe that will be in future units. Looks really cool. I like blue. It's my favorite color, obviously. But it works perfectly fine. You have two buttons on the front uh, to increase or lower the temperature and the time. You can set the timer anywhere from one hour up to 24 hours. Um, and like I say, on the, the back of the box or on the paperwork that comes with it, it has recommended print temp recommended temperatures for drying and, you know, for how, much, for how long to dry it. So you simply uh, press and hold the left button down for three seconds, and you can change the temperature by going left or right, and you can change the time the same way. Once you take your hand off of it, it will automatically go. To turn off the unit, or once it's done, it goes into a standby mode. Basically, it's like shutting itself off. The, the, the timer, the, the screen on the front will still be lit up, but it will not be running. 
until you re put another roll of filament in it and re-enter a different time or temperature. Or you can just simply unplug it from the back. But yeah, um, it's, like I say, it's a beautiful little unit. I have had no issues with it whatsoever. Um, it's a great addition to the family here of all my printers that I have. And it's not big and clunky like a lot of boxes might be really big and you are having trouble finding somewhere to set them or mount them. These are individual units. You can buy multiple units, put it around different printers. And I think they're wonderful. So, um, like I say, food dehydrator, it's not for me. Maybe some people are happy with the food dehydrator. Maybe some people want to throw their filament in the oven. That would just might smell up your oven and you might melt your roll. And then you have a bad odor in your house. But you might prefer the, the little filament dryer. It works great. And I don't have anything bad to say about it other than I wish it did have the blue lights in the front of it lit up on the front. But like I say, maybe in the release unit uh, that they're coming out with, maybe that's something that will be there since there's a picture of it with blue lights. Obviously that they have a production line where they have blue lights. So, well that's about it I guess. So, below in the description will be a play, there's a link to some loose site where you can buy this from. Hopefully they'll be up on Amazon soon. They always have specials and sales at Sunloo or on Amazon. So at different times you might find this on sale, this unit, and get it cheaper. So, you know. Stay tuned for my next video coming out. I'm testing out some Sunloo PLA. I've got white and black here. I'll be doing a video on that coming up. So, and there's lots of discounts below and there's affiliate links and lots of information below in the description. So please like, subscribe. Thank you everybody and happy printing.